It was a rematch between UCLA and Oregon State after UCLA brutalized the Beavers in early January. It took an overtime. Oregon State took down seventh, seventh ranked UCLA. I'm Anne Marie Anderson alongside Elise Woodward. Of course, you can always start with Canada. She had another brilliant night. Well, Jordan Canada just so smooth, quick. 21 points for her, five assists. She's now second all time in the history of the Pac-12 Conference passing Jennifer AZ. Slicing in the lane and hitting the three ball. She kept her team in this. She's going to be so disappointed, though. She wanted a Pac-12 championship, and it looks tough now with the loss. Oregon State, man, it was all Marie Gulich tonight. So smart for her to play with four fouls in the seven and a half minute mark of the fourth quarter, all the way through till overtime and grab the game ceiling rebound. She was so smart, efficient, top down low, really good in the matchup with Monique Billings. She held Billings to four of 12 shooting from the floor. Meanwhile, Katie McWilliams chipped in. You said Gould, she needed help. She got 16 points from McWilliams, five rebounds and some great decision making. Six foot two inches and she had the advantage over the two smaller UCLA guards. Here she just rises right over the top of five foot six Canada and knocks it in. Not a lot you can do when you're eight inches taller than your opponent, I mean, you, you have the advantage, and she did that tonight with 16 points. She was good. As you take a look at these numbers, keep in mind, too, for Gulich, four free throws toward the end of overtime in the game that made all the difference. You get a center that can go four of four and be a player that you want on the free throw line to end a game, that is a weapon. <laughs> She's their number one scorer, and she was clutch when it counted. Beavers over the Bruins. They celebrate in Gill Coliseum. And this is the fifth consecutive win by the Beavers over the Bruins on this floor in Corvallis.